Hi, Yarn to Bees. How are you today? Ah, just got off work. I'm tired. My back hurts. Wow, 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 wow. Today, I'm still not used to seeing my purple halo. It's like really weird. Really weird. Purple. <laughs> yeah. See, it's dark purple here. And then all the gray I had is all all really like purple <laughs> so i've got like two-toned hair it's bizarre anyway uh today is the first week yeah first week <laughs> the first week of the march edition of the movie marquee challenge holy cow my brain today you guys uh that i'm doing with heather the crochet witch Heather got her video out already. She always does it a couple days before the the end of the week and it always messes me up. <laughs> so anyways, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I have a playlist down below, which I have updated. Oh, she was talking about on her video that she's getting better at putting her videos in her playlist. And I went back and looked and I had like five videos of hers that I forgot to put in the playlist. My bad. Yeah, so all updated now. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, basically what we're doing is every month uh, for the whole year, uh, we are picking a movie each. Um, uh, January was me. February was Heather. Now it's me, March. And the, the uh, movie that I picked was Venom. I'm kind of in venom kind of vibe today. <laughs> um, and then we take the colors that are in the poster of that movie and we make a project with it. Uh, yeah, so it took me a while to figure out what yarn I wanted to use and what project I wanted to do. I had a lot of you give me some great ideas. And uh, what I decided was I'm going to do like a poncho-y, half poncho square thing. <laughs> so it's going to be all one piece. Bailey, oh, Bailey's all caught up in my, oh, oh, geez. Hang on. Technical difficulties. Sorry about that. My dog came in and got really caught up in all in the cable for my mic and camera went flying and oh yeah, it was it was a bit trying to untangle her was just like yeah, okay. Anyways, um where was I? Yeah, so poncho -y thing. It's basically going to be a rectangle. And I'm going to have a whole insert part and uh, for the head, and then I'm going to stitch it up the sides. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure of the construction of it quite yet, but I'm going to just go for it. I've seen them on um, Pinterest and all that, but it's going to be interesting. So the yarn that I'm going to use is I'm using uh loops and threads soft and shiny news flash guys for any of you that have been around for a while you know i don't like using thin yarns and i don't like using small hooks i'm breaking all the rules <laughs> breaking all the rules <laughs> so here is the soft and shiny here's isn't that a gorgeous color isn't that beautiful? Oh, just love it. Uh, this color is denim jeans. Okay. Uh, and you guys, it says it's a medium four. I don't, I don't know that. I think that's a, a heavy three or a heavy, a heavy three. Yeah. A thick three or a very light four. Like that's, that's, pretty thin for me so I'm using that one 
And then I'm using uh, Vintage Indigo. Oh, isn't that pretty? So if you put those two together, that's what that looks like. And then I'm using, which is way off, the, but if you look at the letters in the poster, there's fine lines around the lettering. And in his gums, there in Venom's gums, you can see the orangey red color. So this was as close as I could find. It's called Ginger Peach. It's actually darker than that. It's, yeah, it's, it's a bit darker. So it looks more orangey in the camera, but it's, uh, anyway. So I'm putting that one. And then for his skin tone, I decided to go with doo -doo -doo, iced coffee. And again, it's, it's a bit of a darker color like that. So, yeah. So those, yeah, those are the colors, the four colors that I'm going to be using. If you put them all together. So, uh, let's see, how can we do this? I'll put them here and then I'll put the poster up over on my other side and you can see the colors uh, and the poster. Okay. So I think I got it pretty good I think I talked to Heather about it and says what do you think of these colors and she was like yes okay so I was like okay well you're the expert so I'll just go with what you say <laughs> and I'm using my new four millimeter hook four millimeter It's going to take me a while to get this done. Thank God I've got a whole month. Usually a garment I can do like no problem. This, do you see this hook? Do you see how tiny this is? Like seriously? <sighs> so, but so far so good. <laughs> it's taken me all week to do this. <laughs> it's almost embarrassing. Okay, so here is... How long it is it goes for my my wingspan it goes to there on my hands on on each side and it's got a lot of drape a lot so here is this is what it is it's one row of double crochet and one row of window you know like um double crochet chain two double crochet in the second like skip one double crochet so yeah so that's what it's gonna look, 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 look that's what it's gonna look like and what I'm planning on doing is using the whole skein and then switching to the next color and using that whole skein so yeah, I don't know. It may be too, I don't know. So it's going to end up being like two colors on one side, like the blues on one side and on the back, it's going to end up being the peach and the beige. I don't know. I was thinking about doing two panels the same. I, it's still up in the air, guys. <laughs> My OCD might not allow me to have two colors on the back and two colors on the front. I may not be able to do that. <laughs> like, I may end up having to go and buy another ball of each and then just doing, well, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Knowing me, I will probably end up doing two panels instead and uh and buying more yarn so we'll see how it goes we'll see i'll see how much i can get out of one skein i mean i've got about three inches i guess two and a half three inches and i've you know you haven't used a whole lot of this 
So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <sighs> so, and then I was thinking of maybe putting tassels on the whole thing. Like, I don't know. It's going to be a work in progress. Usually I have things mapped out in my head and I kind of go, okay, and I can visualize it. This one, no visualizing. I, I'm just, I am flying by the seat of my pants. Yep. Which I don't do that well. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not a planner. Like I'm not, like I don't sit there and go, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Right? Like I kind of let the yarn speak to me and do what it wants for the most part. But when it comes to coloring, color controlling and stuff, I, I, I have a hard time. I can't. I don't like it when yarn just kind of goes, okay, here's this color and whoop, there's that color, right? It's like, uh, I do it occasionally, but I, if it's a really nice transition, like a really nice fade into the next color, I'm all for it. But when it's a hard, you know, stop, I can't handle it. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but with this, I don't have to worry about it. I can totally color control this. So, yeah. So that's all I have for you guys. Uh, I guess we, we will see you next week. Don't forget to go over to Heather's channel and see her uh, blanket, <clears throat> excuse me, that she's doing. She's doing this really cool, you know, half and half, you know, because on the poster, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Venom's face. And then on the other half, it's, you know, the human face. And so she's doing a half and half on her squares and stuff. It's really kind of cool. So yeah. So go check out her channel. Keep updated. You know, if you want to get involved, please do and post your pictures in both of our Facebook pages. Um, if you don't want to do this video, okay. We had a bit of issue with this. You don't have to do the videos, the movies that we're doing. Okay. You can do whatever movie you want. Okay. As long as the colors coordinate with the posters, right? So if you want to do whatever, you could do a Disney show, whatever, just do the, the, um, the poster or the colors in the poster. And it would be really helpful. <coughs> Excuse me. It would be really helpful if when you post your pictures, if you know how, uh, or just tell us what it is, is putting a side by side, um, picture of the poster that you're doing and your project. If, if you can't do that, that's fine. Just tell us what, what, uh, movie you're doing. And then we can go and look at the poster and see, see how it coordinates. So, yeah, so I think it's going to be so much fun. I'm, I'm just, it took me a bit to get on this one because I was just like, huh, I don't know what to do. Right. But I think I got it down now. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, Bailey. Oh, okay. All right. You're good. I thought we were going to have another catastrophe there. <clears throat> so anyway. Okay. So come back and join us next week to see how far we've gotten. I'm really hoping that I can get more done because I got a bit of a late start. So yeah, hopefully we'll have gotten into the next blue color. Actually, you know what? I've got four colors so that really works out. So hopefully if I can get the rest of this color done and then I'll get the rest of the next color done and, and that will be for the second week. And then I'll get into the pink for the third week or the, the peach for the third week. And then I'll get into the beige for the fourth week. That should work out, right? I'm so smart. <laughs> okay, guys. So check back with us uh, next week and see how we're doing. Okay. Keep us accountable. <laughs> okay. I love you all and I will talk to you later. Bye.